Hi, Tango Baldy here. Um, it's been quite a while since I made a few videos. Um, this one's just going to show you some of the stuff that um, I've got ready for the next month's worth of videos. So I've got these. Uh, they have the number zero to nine in them. Are they, and they're self-inflating as well. I think it only cost me a couple of quid. I was really pleased with them, so I went out and got some more. I got the happy birthday ones. They're gonna be um, blown up with straws. So we got, to, oh, so I've just chucked them all over the floor. So yeah, there's loads of them, nice gold ones. Let's get those back into the bag. that and today when my face to the back of the camera all that time um, is Valentine's Day so we've got a love balloon we'll blow this one up in this video and I have some red love balloons I'm gonna do those as well and I've got some I ordered off Amazon some heart-shaped balloons. They're really small, those. So, what I'm gonna do in this video is blow them up, and then I think the next video I'll destroy them. Yes. Some of the balloons come with little sticks, so you can hold them on. Oh, and also, modeling, balloon modeling. I'm gonna have a go at that. I've been doing balloon modeling for years, but it's been quite a while since the Dunham. I did think these were the best balloons to get, the Qualtex ones, but I found the quality of them, they're really thin now, and let's just blow one up, well, the couple so you can see. Um, let's put the bag in front and then I won't be hiding. I'll do a pink balloon, and a red balloon. These are 160s, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, these are measured as 160 Qs, and these ones are 260 Q. And I've been trying to make puppies and things with them, you know, little um, poodles. But I'm not doing very well with that. So let's just blow this one up. Right, the full length of that, there we go, that's quite long. But obviously, you, when you're making balloon models, you don't blow them up that much at the ends. You'd probably leave at least that much on the ends so that as you tie it up, it goes. So I'm gonna quickly make a, a balloon puppy now. And the first thing to do is, the, they call this the apple. Push your finger in, in there. It's about that far down. Then grab hold of the thing inside, and then you can twist that, and you've basically hidden the puppy, the nose bit on it. So let's see if I can do this. It's been quite a while since I've done these. So do the ears first. Oh dear, I'm not. I'm gonna... So there's two little bits. The ears. So yeah, so you've got the nose and the ears. And I'm already running out of balloon. Look, it's not that long now, just from doing those. Uh, the feet now, so we'll have the neck bit, which will do about an inch. And then the feet will be an inch or half an inch. Half an inch and then an inch. So you're basically left with, oh, you have to wrap them the right way round all the time. So, an inch, that's it. Half an inch, half an inch, and then an inch. You can see that I'm nearly out on the end. So we've got the, the four there, and then we'll just twist that. You can see, getting close to it, 
got the little it might be a bit too saturated, so look, put it under the shadow, there you go. But obviously I've run out of space at the other end of the bling. But anyway, that's a start. We'll do the um, little one now, the 160. I have got an amazing book, and I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Oh, there it is, I'm just going to get it. I've got to give me this at the library. Balloon Architecture. Um, Larry Moss. It doesn't have a is bin number on the back, so I'm wondering if this came with a, a balloon kit, maybe. Because all books have to usually have a, a number in the back. Yeah, it's just released by Ivy Press. And it's got like how to make Eiffel Tower, Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, hang on, let me have a look. Yeah, it was, this book was conceived, designed and produced by Eyeball and Imprint. Oh, it's got the ISBIN number in the, in the front. So if any of you want to try and order that, if you just freeze frame, you can order this book probably off Amazon by that ISBIN number. But yeah, some nice stuff in there, like um, bridges. What else we got? Um, the Eiffel Tower, let's have a look if they've built one, there we go, look, the Eiffel Tower, can you imagine trying to do that? That's going to be great fun. So anyway, let's get back to blowing up this little 160. The problem I get with the 160s is um, getting that on there, because it's so look, small. Let's have a go. And I was going to do more videos, but every time I go to do them, I want to do them outside. It's raining, it's chucking it down tonight. And it's just been rain, rain, rain. I haven't been feeling very well for quite a while. Now this one seems to be longer. Let's let loads of air out of this one. So you've only literally got a tiny, that's half the balloon. That might be too small, I might run out of balloon. Let me just put a little bit more. Oh, I can't blow those up with my mouth. <sighs> Let's try it again. You can tell how long I've been since I've done the video because I've grown a beard. I don't, I've never had a beard before. And I must say, it was driving me crazy when I first started growing it. It's not too bad now, as long as you look after it. All right, let's have another go at that. So we do the little doggy bit. Make a small nose this time. Look at that little, little puggy nose. And then we do ears. We're gonna try small. I bet you lot can't believe that I actually don't like balloons. When I'm scrunching this up, I'm like, ugh. Probably said that before. Okay, so that is about two foot long. So let's do the little tiny neck. Legs, tiny feet, tiny feet. Secret in twisting is to be fast. When you first do the top, just do it really quickly. There you go, look, nice and small. Oh, look how cute is that? Look at that, that is lovely. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be left with loads of balloon on the end, on this one. I wonder if I could do a, a, a double body. I'm not sure how to do that. Well, let's have the poodle, like a walking poodle then. We'll do the number two, then little turn. That's it. Little turn. This isn't a demonstration video. When I do my demonstrations, I'm gonna have the camera right down so that you'll see me doing everything. Okay. I 
I will get this right in a minute. Well, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Got a... A kind of... Overweight poodle. With a funny shaped tail. But the kids love this because they just walk around with it going, I've got a doggy. That's nice, isn't it? Oh. Oh. 